Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another early morning here on the island. Out doing some scouting, trying to get some stuff kind of sorted out for today. Apparently it is bath time, <laughs> but we have some stuff on the menu. I guess getting nibbled on by some piranhas are at the top of the list, but I want to do some taming, dude. I found a parasaur over there in the little cove that we found, kind of where we started at in the last video. Only level 30, but it kind of works out because right now I'm having a hard time getting stuff together for narcotics. So I want to get him tamed up, get a saddle on him, that'll help us grab some berries a little bit easier, and also use them for a pack mule. If you notice, there's there's quite a bit of the trees missing over here. I have been doing a ton of farming. We're going to build our base up some a little bit better. So what I'm thinking, instead of... Okay. No promise. Instead of building on this side of our little uh, little cave over here, it's, it's too many rocks, man. It's very, very rocky shore, and then it goes out to kind of nothing. I think we want to go ahead and build on this side over here. Now, I talked about not actually building inside the cave. I just wanted to start out over here. It's kind of where I started all my series so far when we're on the island. So, what I'm thinking, if we start right about here, we'll build our base, and then we can actually put our dock extending out that way. It's not too bad, man. The one thing I am worried about is the beavers. So, we've got a couple of the beaver dams over here. Not sure where the actual beavers are, so we might end up robbing them today. I think they're out on vacation or something like that. So, good time to grab the wood, some cement paste, and then... Should be a little bit of the pearls, maybe some rare flowers, maybe some rare mushrooms. Get those guys kind of gone. But that's kind of the goal for today, man. Get our base set up over here and then try to get our first team. Hopefully, we'll be able to. Now, like I said, I did a ton of resource harvesting between the last video and this one. Trying to get stuff together. We are going to be going to wood for our base. We'll break this whole thing down here. You guys left me some comments, too, as well for some stuff. Look at our storage, dude. It is stacked, man. You can actually turn off the clipping and then stack things on top. Now, I tried stacking this on top. I think that the, the area that I had was too small. Maybe if I had two of the boxes down next to each other, I could actually stack that in that on top. So it's, it's awesome, man. This is a huge thing right here, being able to stack stuff. So, speaking of that, let's see where we're at in life. Got nine of those. In here, I kind of just have some of the stuff. I've gotten quite a bit of stuff from Loot Drops. We got some of the cooking pots, and then we got one of the wall torches. Got one of the maps. I usually put those up on my wall and stuff quite a bit. And then up here is all of the resources and things that I've been pre-making. Now that's not enough to build a full base. We probably won't get the whole base done today. But the main thing I need to get done is we need to unlock some stuff. And let me show you where we're at with that. Oh yeah, so we're our level, we're up to level 20. I think we need to be 21 for getting the Trank Arrows unlocked. Yeah, they're right there. So we're almost there. We're pretty close to leveling up. But I want to get the smithy unlocked and the forge. The main reason for that is the metal tools. It's, it's, you don't get very much resources from using the, uh, the stone stuff. So let's go ahead and unlock these. I'm hoping we got enough points for everything today. Super expensive. Super expensive on that. And then preserving bin. Definitely need that for our foods. We got a large storage. Let's unlock... Where is spark powder? And let's unlock... Where is the parasaur saddle? Right there, we got 14 left. Let's save those points just in case we find something else that we need. I know there's something that we need. I just don't know what it is. But we'll go ahead and unlock this as soon as we make up our stuff. Let's try to make the forge real quick. Oh yeah, I changed the stack size too. So we're on 20 time multiplier. You don't need a mod for that. You can actually edit that in your INI file, which is a fantastic thing. So we're going to need some flint. We should have enough of this. Some of that. We're going to be overweight here in a second. We need some fiber, and then a little bit of wood. So one thing I noticed too is, in this version of Ark, you can actually over, over encumber yourself. You used to not be able to take all of the resources and stuff, depending on what your weight was. It seems like you can actually carry more now, which is kind of cool. Not too bad. Let's set this out for the moment. Now we are moving here soon. Let's turn that off. And then, can we change the alignment towards at an angle? Hmm, you can't. And you can't actually rotate it like you used to either. Not too sure how I feel about that, but I mean, it's fine, dude, it's fine. I want you... Nope, look. Cooperate with me a little bit, please. And thank you. So that's there. Let's go ahead and grab our metal, start smelting it up. I don't think we have enough, I've only got 22. I've been trying to take out the river stones, little river rocks. That's what you normally do to get your starting wood and stuff, or not wood, but uh, metal and stuff. 
And it's kind of hard to find them now. They look exactly like the normal ones. So it's been a little bit of a chore. So that should smelt up. I think it's a 2 to 1 ratio. And let's say change that. So that'll give us 11 on the ingots. That'll be enough for... It should be enough for the smithy. And then one each of the tools. I think. Possibly. We gotta level up. Let's see, we're at 190 weight, 200 health. Let's go ahead and just do weight to 200. Yep. Trank arrow there. That is unlocked. Fantastic. Let's eat some food. And something else I found out, I'm not exactly sure what it means. So if you come over here to the mortar and pestle, in options, wireless crafting. I'm not sure what that is. I was thinking maybe you could use that and then do crafting like in your inventory for stuff. You can't. So I'm not exactly sure what that is. That is totally new. Kind of weird. Kind of interesting, but you can turn it on and off. Allow wireless crafting. I don't know, dude. That is super weird. There's nothing in our inventory for that. And like the narcotics, it doesn't show up right here. Unless maybe we try to craft these and it'll pull it. I don't know. I'm not too sure how it works out. Let's uh, get stuff together for some taming, though. So, we got 18 arrows. We got enough for nine. Let's craft all nine. And I think for the Parasaur, we only need about five or six. So that should work out. That is a low-level one. And then let's see about a saddle. So we're going to need some hide, fiber, and wood. We might not have enough of the hide. We don't. Uh, I need to kill some more of the dodos and stuff. We need to make some more arrows as well. We're missing flint, fiber, and thatch. Let's make up just 20. That should be fine. And that'll get that sorted out. We'll get the hide. And then I think we need hide for the smithy too, right? It's been a long time since I built all this stuff. An arc. We do. Only 20. That's not too bad. All right, we'll keep these in here. I do got my keep folder. I want to see if we die, if that actually stays there. If that is static and doesn't disappear, that would be... Dude, I would be so happy. So happy, man. I tell you what, while we're building, I think we have the stuff. Let's make our preserving bin. Stone thatch and fiber. I think I'm way too heavy on the wood and stuff, right? Yep, too much wood. <laughs> it's the one problem with a stack mod. Or not stack mod, but, you know, changing your stack size. All right, so what have you? Let's get some stuff going for a little bit of spark powder, and that'll kind of keep our food and stuff safe. I'm going to need a little bit of you. A little bit, not much. A little bit of you. All right, let's give you and you that. Craft up as much as we can, and we're just going to set it here. I'm not too worried about how stuff is set out, seeing how we're going to be moving here in this video. Let's change you, though, so we can access you. And let's not put it right by... The bed. Do want it to cause problems? And I should be able to put all of our berries and stuff in there. And then I kind of want to leave some of our meat too. Seems like everything kind of spoils super fast here. That and that. Dude, I tell you what, it has taken me so long to get stuff together for narcotics. Now, don't forget, I am playing on default rates. So I'm kind of, uh, kind of doing that to myself. But it's more of a, uh, more of a progress system like that, right? It makes everything more re rewarding once you get done with it. Words are hard sometimes. Alright, so. Try to find some little creatures. Now the compies are finally all gone. Holy crap, dude, there were so many of them. I was out here doing a lot of the harvesting just around this little island here. A little bit over there, and I ended up going over that way because I don't remember exactly where the raptors are that were over here. But I wouldn't mind killing some off and trying to get some more hide. I think with him we'll just get polymer. Let's go ahead and leave him. Yep, didn't mean to do that. Now we're doing something different with the taming. I'm not exactly sure how it's going to work out. What I did, instead of changing my taming rates up, the problem with that is it speeds up the taming, right? Which is what we kind of want. However, it also makes it to where you don't need so many resources for taming stuff. I don't like that, man. So, what we did was we changed the food drain rate on them. Now that should make it go down faster. I got it set to three times their normal amount. They will eat more food, but it'll also make it to where they tame up faster. So that way, it still costs the same amount to tame them as defaults, but it speeds up the process. I can't do normal taming rates just because, I mean, recording, man. It uh, it takes forever as it is. So we'll see how that works out. I'm hoping that it kind of works. Now, the problem with that is, even after they're tamed, they're still going to want more food, which kind of works out because I always thought that dinos don't eat that much in Ark. I mean, kind of seems like they should eat a lot more than what they do. So I'm hoping 
that won't be too bad. So let me get some more hide. I think we need around 100 altogether. We have got... We've got nine. It's gonna take a minute. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll kill off the pig over here if we can get him bullied. All right, Junior, hang tight, man. Hang tight. You can't bowl of those. I don't ever tame these very often. I didn't know for sure. It's a little one! Oh, dude, I forgot about the babies. I think they said that you have to kill off the parents to get the little one. Imprint on it. Oh, that's all you have to do! We got our first tame! Oh, that's fantastic! Junior! I just killed your parents! I'm sorry, man. Let me get to hide from it, at least. <laughs> that was kind of the whole point in it. Need to kill off a couple more of these. We got quite a bit from this versus the other ones. Now, I'm not too sure how we have to deal with the little one. Does it follow us? Can we leave it back at base? I see a fairy over there. That is terrifying. Junior! Ju Junior. How you doing, man? You alright? Do we need to give you some food? How does this work? Your health is low. Your food is okay. Let's get you some berries, man. Let's get you back to base, too. I mean, it kind of works out. We need one of those anyways for getting our garden going here soon. You coming? Is it the small stubby legs? Are you going kind of slow? You are. Look, I I'm sorry, man. I'll slow down. It's not safe over here. Hopefully you can swim. If not, it's going to be a problem. I want to get some berries for it, though, so it doesn't starve. They eat berries, right? No, it's a pego! Back up, Junior. I will save you. Maybe. Possibly. We might both die. It is a possibility. Yep, you stole something, didn't you? Oh, my hide. I worked hard for that. I just killed his parent for that. Yep. They got moves. Dude, I tell you what, with this new uh, pathing, if they try to do dodge your arrows and stuff, I am not going to like that. I got bad aim as it is. Could hit him with a bola. They don't run in a straight line, though, anymore. That's kind of cool. Hey, leave him alone! Well, I'll tell you what, Junior, you all right? Look, I can barely provide for myself, let alone a little one. Give me my stuff back, thank you. You alright? You okay? You almost died. Holy crap, dude. Let's get you some food. Like I said, you need to keep up, dude. It is not safe. So that's a cool alternative to... I heard you. To taming and breeding. Going out and stealing the little ones? I kind of like that, dude. That is not bad. I mean, I'd say that now. Wait and see what happens whenever we get to, like, a Rex or something like that. What if you can steal Gigas? That would be awesome, dude. Yep, I need your hide. And I need the berries that are right here. There we go, there we go. Alright, put this away. How hungry are you? I only got two berries. Pretty hungry. Pretty hungry. Alright, look. He's a he's a grown boy. Or girl. What gender are you? Male? Male. There we go. The colors, man. <laughs> I was looking for the colors. They changed it. So something else with the plants I noticed, as you're harvesting, that's a tree. As you're harvesting them, the texture actually changes to different ones. You start losing some leaves, now it does it on these as well. Not these, yep. These as well. But the big ferns, you can really tell it, man. Kind of the, uh... The leaves go away. It's awesome, man. It's not too bad. Junior! Give me those. Got some purple ones. Purple ones are the best! Alright, let's go this way. Let's get out of the woods. Back to base. How are we doing on hide? I mean, we almost got enough hide for... You coming? For the saddle. I need to get a saddle for this guy, too. I need to see... We need to unlock one. Oh, we can actually use him for berries. Maybe, possibly. How far along are you for your mature rate? 46%. You want some more food, though. Let's not get by the Hesperonis. They are not safe. I got more berries back at base. If we can get over there. Let's go this way. I don't want him to die. Mind the bird, mind the bird. Speaking of birds, what level are you? Level 60? Okay. Come over here, it's a piranha-free area. Grab some berries along the way back here. Now we don't have anywhere to keep them safe is kind of one of the things. We are thirsty, we just ran through the water. There we go, man, there we go. Wasn't planning on taming one of those today. Well, we're not really taming it, we're actually just kind of like raising it up. That's kind of the cool thing, man. I like whenever you go out to do stuff like that, and you find new things. You coming? Dude's growing right before our eyes. There's three more for you. 
Oh, the food's down to zero. Holy crap, hurry up, man. Come over here fast. I'm gonna eat all my berries I was gonna use for taming up the Parasaur. Hopefully the pathing works better, too, for them going around structures whenever they get stuck. We'll have to see, because I know some of the caves we actually got to use those in. You know, different teams and stuff. Let's take this and that's Leave you. We'll give Junior all of these. I want to keep the purple ones for... Well, uh, I mean, I guess you can fit inside the door. Can you... You're, you're blocking me in. Look. You look terrible. <laughs> Let's get you some berries. I need to get out that door. Let's see this. Let's put your following... This is all different. Holy crap, it's all different. Options. Not options. Tracking info. Tracking info? What is that? Behavior. Oh, dude, we got to, like, learn all this stuff again. Let's do lowest. There you go. Move out of the way. Get out of the door before you grow up too big to not fit. Alright. Hang tight there. You are eating all those berries like crazy. Just, just hang tight. Let me grab some more. Let me grab some more. I want to save the purple ones for... the other creature. Will he eat these? We can try. A little bit of science, see if it works out. Maybe you'll change color. That would be fantastic. He does eat them. Food does go up. Okay, we can save those for that. That kind of works out. Now these say that... They're tasty. But we didn't get anything whenever we tried to eat them. I don't know if that's bugged, or what the deal is. So that kind of works out. You alright? 78, what do we need for that saddle for you? Need some more hiding stuff. We could... Let's go ahead and do it. Let's do it. Oh, we got a level 2. Let's start putting some into... I was thinking fortitude? I do want to get my fortitude up. Let's do... Yep, let's do it. Let's do it. And then we need some more stuff for our saddle. Just missing some wood. One of you, please. Dude, that kind of works out. Like, I was just saying whenever we started the video that it's kind of hard for me grabbing stuff for making our... our train darts and stuff. So that kind of helps out with grabbing little ones. If you can kill off the parents, that is, right? Now, I wonder if we get an imprint bonus and stuff for that. You are eating food like crazy, man. It's like a pig. I mean, I mean, it literally kind of is. But I wonder if we get an imprint bonus, seeing how we're raising it up. And I wonder if it matters what stage in their... their childhood that you grab them. Like a little one? Or a almost fully, uh, like, grown adults? I have to see, man. A lot of new stuff. I do like it, though. Put this back into here. Give this guy a minute. We'll go ahead and let him get tamed up. Throw on the saddle. We'll see how the berry harvesting goes. And then maybe we'll head over. I was going to start building our base first. Maybe we'll go over and grab that Parasaur before it gets too late in the day. We just have to go around this side and then... He should be kind of trapped in there. We got a couple of the bolas. And then a couple shots to the head of the Trank Darts and it should be good to go. Got nine of these. Well, let's just leave them there until we're ready to do the taming. Nice, man. Nice! Our first addition to the tribe. So, give you a saddle. What do we have? Let's get on top and see if we have any... You get the imprints! Imprinting affinity. What does that mean? Is that the normal... ...damage buff and stuff you get? Hmm! Interesting. We'll see. Kinda slow. Let's go first person. Should do some good berry harvesting though. Right? Do you not harvest berries? Is that different? I need to change some settings on you. You had a bunch of them. Let's do... What is tracking info? Toggle tracking. Toggle POI. What? Oh yeah, while we're in the map, I found out where you can change it in the settings. You can pick how many of the death markers you want from 0 to 5. I left it at 2, so it'll always show just your most recent 2 on the map. I kind of want to just leave it like that. We'll go ahead and get rid of that bag here soon enough. Let's see about this real quick. So, tracking info. Toggle tracking. It shows it on the map! Oh, that's right, they said something about not losing your tames anymore. Oh, that is fantastic! That is going to be a game changer for, like, your cinema crops whenever Lost Island comes out. What do we have for your harvest settings, though? Harvest settings. 
It's on disable. Or it's on enable. Can they not harvest berries? Let's try to smack a tree real quick. I want to leave those trees. I, I'm kind of avoiding those. Just so that we have some nice scenery whenever we build our base over here. Nothing there. That's a regular bush. Okay. It's a bird. Were they always this slow? So we do get some stuff from the tree. Not very much. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we got our first tame. If anything, you're not pretty, but you're ours. <laughs> All right, dude. Let's leave him inside over here. Let's go ahead and try to grab our parasaur. I'm really wanting something for berries. It's kind of going to change everything once we start getting that together. All right, give me those. I want you on... Where is... Neutral. Protect yourself, man. Don't die. Just protect yourself. You are making treats like crazy. I like it, man. I like it. The whole point of them. So, drop off you and you. Let's drop off you. How are you doing? We got some metal. Let's turn you off. We'll finish crafting that whenever we come back. And all we need to do is make some arrows. Or, we have the arrows. We just need stuff for a saddle, right? We got 52. I think we needed 80. I got sidetracked, man. I got sidetracked. We need 80. That's fine. We can go ahead and tame this guy, come back, and then worry about it then. Now, I'm hoping that these will be enough berries, and then we should be able to get some in the cave over here. Can you swim? Might be worth it just to swim over on him if he goes faster because of the piranhas. How much health have you got? 420. We've only got about 100, so should last longer, if anything. Swims a lot faster, actually. Makes it a little bit more safe getting over here. There's a dodo. Let's go ahead and kill him off. I just changed our arrows around. Can you? You can. We'll get you some levels. Poor little dodo man. Don't get very much. We only need about 30 more anyways. You coming to save him? Is that what it is? So we're gonna have to get a whole farm together for eggs and stuff too. Seeing how there's no mods for doing our kibble. But I don't know, man. I kind of want to avoid using kibble to tame, if we can. There's supposed to be a whole new kibble system as well, I think. I think they revamped that. There's a ton of dodos over here. Now, I thought about building in the little cove over here. It's kind of where I saw the parasaur. I came over here to look to see. It's just not really big enough. Cool area. But we need somewhere that we can actually expand. I want to do some major building and stuff like that. Yep, there's a compi too. They're working together. The dude is hungry again! The other thing is we have no cryo pause or anything like that, so all of our teams have to stay out. Yup, yup. So I really need to get that Parasaur so we can... It'll be alright! So that we can uh, get berries and stuff a little bit easier. Alright, let's do this. Oh, there was two of them. I didn't realize that. That might be enough on the hide. We just need to 80. Oh, I left the rest over there. It's fine, man. It's fine. Let's get Junior over here. I need to get you some berries, and we need to get inside that cave. Give me a few minutes. Let me get some stuff for him. He's a grown boy, man. He eats a lot. Swimming over here. It was over here on the left. If it's still there, should be him. Only a level 30. Oh, we got a life short here, too. Probably kill him off for a little bit more hide. Level 30, there we go. Alright, let's do... This. Oh yeah, I need to do passive. I don't want him jumping in and trying to attack as well. I think it was like five headshots. I should take him out. Oh, nice man, nice. Alright, put it away, put it away. Alright, we good? We alright? So... Let's get this party started. See if it's going to work out like I'm hoping. So food is going down. Payment is 8%. I might need some more berries. Holy crap, I didn't think about that. I don't want to mess this up too bad. What is that sound? It's a pego! Look, we don't have time for this, Junior. I'm in the middle of taming. This is not planned out. This is not planned out well. I have no idea where that came from. At least it's not hitting the Parasaur. 
One more. I got you, buddy. I got you. Hang on there. There we go. You okay? You all right? Are you taming up still? You're doing fine. You're doing fine. Let's give you these. Maybe it'll eat that as well. How are we looking? 64%. So it is working out with... The food consumption going down. Having that set to where it eats food a lot more. I might need to change that a little bit less. We'll have to see. Have to see once we get full berries in the two tames so that their food is full. And see how it kind of drains after that. I don't want to have to fill it up too much. I kind of need to get it balanced a little bit, though. There's a couple of light shows. Oh, dude. Fantastic for getting hide over here. But yeah, it looks kind of cool over here. Really wanted to build a base, like, over there. Oh, there we go. And have it kind of extend out. But we'll have to, uh... Have to find somewhere else. It's just too small in here. I was hoping this was going to be higher. We can't get dinos in and out. Seems how there's no... Oh. Getting dinos out. Hopefully you can fit. Seems how there's no cryopods. All right, you all right, Junior? Let's give you all this stuff for the moments. Let's put the point into health. Leave it right there. So, this guy, on his stats, he's got... We put a couple points in, but he's up to 463 on health. I think it was at 420. Stamina is 510. Weight is 212. Not too bad. Can use him as a pack mule. And then five, or 157 on damage. Now for... Wait, what was that? Imprinting. Oh, no imprint. So there is no imprint bonus. Okay. Because we didn't hatch it. For the Parasaur, he's going to start off with 400 on the health. Stamina is 720. Weight is a whole 547. Not too bad at all. It will be our pack mule as well. And then 189 on damage. And give me back this stuff here. Junior's kind of hungry over here. Eating like a pig. Just saying. Just saying. All right, so hang tight. Let me kill off a couple of these guys. Get some hide for a saddle. Go back, make that. And then we'll see about how the harvesting works out on the Parasaur. And start building the rest of our base. Try to get our metal tools going. It's a baby Lystro! Dude, look, man. These little baby creatures are fantastic. I'm just saying. Oh, dude. Awesome addition, man. Awesome addition. However, <laughs> sorry, Junior. I need to hide. I am not in a position to raise two babies. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You're running, you ain't gonna last long. Short stubby legs, can't go too fast. One more. I kinda like it because there's no piranhas in here too. There's just some of the normal fish. Kinda weird how you don't get hide or anything from the fish. I'm just saying, man, get some scales or something. Just to uh, change it up. How are we doing on hide? Oh, we got some prime meat from the baby, right? That's kinda neat. I think we're good on hiding stuff now. All right, I'm going to head back over to base. I will see you there. We'll try to get a saddle made for Junior. Both are swimmers. I like it. I like it. Lay it back over here with no problems. Junior's almost out of food again. I know we got two juniors. Look, it's the way that it goes. If you're new to the channel, everybody is Junior. Just saying. Makes it simple. <laughs> that way when you yell at one, it kind of goes for the whole group. So, I need some of this. I need some of the hide out of the other one. Take all this stuff. Actually, let's take all this. Let's cook up the meat. Might as well. Do we have some wood in here? We don't. That's fine. We can put some in there. Oh, it's full. It's full. Let's do this. Tiny bit. Tiny bits. Not much. Little bits. Give you half. Like that. It's a turtle. Should be fine. Alright, so for the saddle, we're missing nothing. Have it all. I like it. I'm really hoping we can get berries with the Parasaur. We should be able to. I mean, it's the way that it goes. Put these in there. Not that. <laughs> hey, man, look. I like to keep my saddles fresh, okay? Don't judge me. Pose this. I do not want to come back home to a compi. Let's give you that. Nice, nice. All right, so. Berries. Oh, fantastic, man. I thought for some reason the pig would give you berries as well. But like I said, we need him for some fertilizer soon anyway, so it kind of works out, is what it is. That'll help out for sure, getting my stuff together for making our narcotics. Again, not too sure. We might end up trying to do a lot of the stealing, just to keep it kind of different. 15. Okay, look, man. I searched forever trying to get the little that we needed for those nine narcotics. So it's definitely, definitely going to be a lot faster. Alright, wait. What is that? 
Oh, another seed, okay. That's all that's new. Everything else is the old stuff. So that's for those. Interesting, they have their own seeds. I mean, they should, right? They should. I wonder what the texture on the crops are like now. Ah, oh, dude, I cannot wait to see that. Alright, let's put this guy over here. Actually, let's get a little bit more. Junior's still pretty hungry over there. Try to get him full on food, and we'll go ahead and start our building of our new base. Now again, we're not going to have it fully built today. I just want to start getting it kind of set up, you know? It's going to be a ton of farming off camera for that. Let's leave that in there. We'll give you all of these. Eat up, buddy. Eat up. All right, something that we are going to need is our metal tools. We need some stone. Not a problem. One of you. If we move, we can't. And we should have quite a bit of storage in this thing as well. Would you please cooperate? Again, we're just kind of setting it wherever. Got tools on it, too. Fantastic, man. Ah, dude, that's awesome. Oh, got them over here, too. So, so like the new textures, man. All right, so we need... Oh, we need a lot more metal. What about the pick? We can do a pick. We need a little bit more hide and one wood. We need one more hide. And I know where we can go ahead and grab some metal from. Get that smelting up. Where is... Where's a small creature whenever you need it? No comp is around now, huh? I just need one more... ...on the hide. Anybody? Kinda killed off everything over here. <laughs> I mean, it kinda works, dude. Alright, give me a second, I'm gonna run back over there. Grab a dodo, and then we should be able to... There's some more floating textures here. We should be able to... ...get our pick made at least. Alright, hide is acquired. Give me... Oh, I have it. Never mind. Never mind. Let's make our pick real quick. Alright, one of you. So all we're really missing is some more of the metal ingots, and then some more of the hide too. So actually, a little bit of everything. Replace you. We'll hold on to that for the moment, just in case. It does still have the 300 slots. Or 700, or 75, 75. I think 300 is for the S plus one. So with this guy, there is an area that has some metal very close. I mean, it's a couple of places. There's one right over here, super close, and then just on the other side, over there is some more. I want to try to grab the ones over here. Now we do got a problem with the raptors that were over here, and we saw that very close by. I don't want to lose our parasaur today, if possible. Just saying. Preferably not. We should be able to grab just a little bit, though. That'll give us the hatchet. Plus some for doing our repairs. Take it the enemy. That might be the bird. Dillo? Okay. I'm worried about the raptors. The raptors and the fairy. I don't see any red dots over here, so we might be fine. Kind of our first venture into the forest, too. Seems like the dinos are lots like, kind of like slower, right? I mean, we're running with the Parasaur right now. And I haven't seen any of the new metal nodes, so I don't know if they look the same. Or if they look different. They should look the same. And hopefully the resources are still over here. Yep, yep. A lot of dodos. A lot of dodos. Not gonna lie. Kinda nervous, dude. <laughs> you can't really see too far. It looks like the area over here has changed too. Hmm. I do like the updates. Is that the metal node? That looks a lot better if it is. I hear you. It's fantastic, man. Look, you can see the little bits of metal in the rock. So I wonder how we tell which one's a good metal node or which one is the kind of like the lower tier one. Maybe there's more of the little pieces of metal in it. Have to see as we kind of find more of it. We gotta level up as well. Take as much as we can out of this one, and that should be good enough for right now. I'll come back over here later. I want to really get our base kind of going. Get that somewhat set up before we get too many resources. I don't want to have to move stuff around too much. And that's not bad there. We got to level up on you. Let's put that into... Wait. We're hungry. Of course we are. Why wouldn't we be? Ton of metal up here. So that is still all here. I like it, man. I like it. Alright, let's head back down. While we got our stuff, and we're still alive... Now, we do got to find some obsidian here soon, too. The only place I know of that has it close by is the volcano. 
We really need to get some some flyers before we head up that way. So I'm kind of curious how it works out with the birds, right? So you have the little ones for like the land dinos. How does it work out with the water and the birds? Do you find some babies as, as well that are already hatched? Or can you actually steal the eggs of everything like Argentavis or Pterodons? Hmm. I don't know. We'll have to figure that out and see. So now that we're back over here, let's go ahead and put this metal into the smelter. We'll grab our foundations out. I did make some more foundations, so it's going to be a little bit bigger than this. Let's take that. We got to level up. Let's put that into... Carry weight. Carry weight for sure. We got quite a few points now. All right. Let's get you going. Let's put you into there. Do your thing. And then, oh yeah, we're grabbing our stuff. Oh, I want to grab... Look, man, look. It's a lot of stuff going on, dude. We need this. We need that. I need these two. Put you in there. Put you in there. Not the charcoal. <laughs> Telling you, man. I want to keep all of our stuff fresh. Let's get you a little bit closer. I'm not too sure how heavy the foundations and stuff are. It's 15 foundations. And then I've only got six of the walls. Again, I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. Plus, I wanted to get the metal tools and stuff. Makes it a lot better for grabbing our resources. I do want to go ahead and just set it out on this side, though, in kind of in the corner. Going out that way. Now, we might do a bridge as well. Not today, but later on. Kind of cutting across here. I've done those before in the past. It makes it easier crossing without having to worry about the delos and stuff. I hear you. So, I want to leave the tree. I really like the tree. This one, and that one for sure. So, let's start off right here with our base. You can actually free, free float them. There's a drop coming down. So let's do... Maybe starting off... Where are we with the trees? That tree and that tree. So like right here would roughly be the middle, I think. Let's put that there for the moment. Actually, that might work out for our starting block. Can we rotate these? Snaps, press Q. Just changes the snap point of it. Okay. Try this out. See how it works. Alright, so we got those. We're still going to do three wide, I think, and maybe four deep for the actual base. And then the extra one outside will be for our little porch. Not that, not that. Oh, wait a minute. Different levels. What? That is fantastic, man! Now you don't have to worry about doing weird stuff to have a... kind of like a terrace look on your base. That is awesome, man! I like it, dude. I like it! So, that'll be like the inside of our base there. Now, can we stack foundations? You can't. Hmm. Interesting. That might work out for here, though. Can we get rid of this rock? Let's use this. Might get some metal. That breaks so much faster, dude. Breaks so much faster, man. Alright, so... I want to see... That actually works. Ah, oh, dude. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll have our main base up here. That'll be the main part. We'll have a, another row out here just for our deck. Right? On the outside. And then for down here... We'll put some more out here. Have it come out a little bit further. We'll have a set of stairs coming down right here, and that'll lead into our base. It might be smaller than I thought. This might be an actual outdoor porch part here, too, and that'll drop down. So it'll be a little bit smaller in here. It'll be a 3x3. Three three. Again, it's not our permanent base. This is our starter one until we get set up with an Argentavis and things like that and can move to a proper location. Let's get rid of this. Nice, man. Nice. Oh, dude, it's fantastic, dude. Fantastic! Let's give you all this. Let's start off with these. So we're gonna want... a door. Let's change this. Wrong button. It happens. A door right there. We're gonna want... two windows. And 
And then we'll do... A wall. A window. A window. And a door. For some reason, it seems to me that Q should be for changing your... Your structure. And E should be for... I don't know, it seems backwards to me. Maybe it's just me. It happens, dude. It happens. That's what we want. There we go. Oh, wait, what is this? Got different arrows on it, too. Hmm, interesting. Junior! This is my house. Please leave my yard. So we're gonna need how many more on the walls? We're gonna need one, two... Wait, did I not put the door down here? And you're backwards. However, if you look at it, at least being backwards as well, it still clips in properly. That is huge! Normally in ASE, if you had it backwards, it would be all offset. There would be different cracks in the corners. That's a little bit weird there, but nothing bad at all. Hmm, I like that, man. Little details. Let's pick you up. Try to place you again. There we go. Proper way. So we need one, two, three, four... Five, six more on the walls, and that should be good. I... We always say this. We always say this. I don't want to build big. Okay? That means we're going to have a four-story mansion here very, very soon. It's the way that it goes. Let's go see if we can make a hatchet real quick. And then I'll do some more harvesting over there. And let's try to rob the beavers. They're not here. I think they're gone on vacation for the moment. We might be able to get quite a bit of wood from that. That's the main thing I'm missing for doing some more of our parts. As soon as I grab this, they're going to come from everywhere. You know this, right? You know this. Ton of stuff. The rights. I will run if I have to. We got a bunch of wood from that. 300. We got some of that. A lot of paste, too. Oh, dude, that's fantastic, man. See you, piranha. No nibbling at my toes, please. They are fragile. All right, leave you there. Leave you here. Grab this one, too. A lot of stuff in this one. Holy crap! I hit the wrong button. Get me on you. I saw the, uh, saw the piranha coming. <laughs> I spammed the wrong button, dude. When all else fails, mash buttons. We got a lot from that one, though, for the wood. Got some pearls. We got our first set of the rare flowers and rare mushrooms. We are not eating these. We are not eating those. At least not now. We're kind of full on weight, too. Cross back to this side, and then... We'll try to start grabbing some of our stuff. We'll go ahead and break down our old base and move stuff over. It should be enough for wood for getting the outside part done. I'm kind of curious about the new building parts. Super excited to see what those are all about, too. Got to check on Junior's food as well. See if he's starving to death or not. All right, buddy. How you doing? You're getting full? Kind of. Not really. But yeah, the food is going down a lot slower now. Seems how we got some food into him. So that's good, man. That'll help out with our taming and still requiring quite a bit of food and stuff. So that's done. That is smelting super fast compared to how it used to, it seems. Let's make... Almost one of you. We need hide! We don't have any hide. We got none. That's alright, man. It's alright. Let's grab these out. We'll put these in the refrigerator. Especially the rare flowers and rare mushrooms. All right, give me a few minutes. I need to grab a little bit more hide. And get that sorted out real quick. And we'll make our hatchets, and I'll make up some more of the walls. I might just load up all the stuff into him, as far as fiber and thatch. So we can just build over there. It'll make life easier. All right, so we got our full set of metal tools. I did go ahead and break down everything down to foundations over there. And got rid of the ones on the porch, so we should be able to get this kind of sorted out here. Let's get rid of this. And get rid of this. Little dude's so full on weight, and let's start getting some stuff crafted up. So, we're gonna need, how many walls was it? One, two, three, four, five, six of those. Now, once we get these stone unlocked, I do want to do our floors as stone. That's kind of the way I do my building. Let's see about that. I think it's like 30s, right? 24. That's not too far away. What? What level are we? 23. Oh, dude, I'll tell you what. That'll probably level us up here, making up some of our stuff here. For the walls and stuff. We got six of those. Let's give you this. 
We will need some more foundations. Let's try to get our door set here for sure. We're actually using doors because, holy crap, dude, the compies, I do not want to come back home to having those guys in our base. Do we want windows over here? Probably, right? You feel better? <laughs> I'm just saying, dude. That's... And then, there is one more thing. Is it in here? Wait, secret doorway? What is that? We gotta try it. What is that all about? That is nuts, dude! It's a secret doorway! That is awesome, man! Put all your stuff- I can only imagine if you play on PvP and stuff, having things in here. Now, now here's the thing. For me, I would forget which one was my secret doorway. I'd be running from something, trying to get in my little hidey hole, and I'd be doing every door or every wall except for the one that actually changes. That is- oh, dude, that's- that's awesome, man. Awesome! Like I keep saying, it's the little things that make everything kind of a little bit better, you know what I mean? Let's make two doors. Regular doors, not the hidden ones. Alright, so two of these. But there's some railings. So we got the half railings, apparently. Right here. It's a quarter wall and railing. So that's kind of like the S plus stuff. I am so glad that the guy that made S plus did the building parts for ASA. It's that's it's a perfect thing, man. Perfect thing to have. Alright, let's put this. So this is totally different. I want to play with this a little bit more. So we have the way that it opens. It shows you with the arrows. Plus, you can actually flip it to the proper way. Which side's out, which side's in. So you can kind of pick which way it swings. That's an awesome thing too, man. Very good thing to have. Let's have ours open that way. And then we flip it. I think I just changed it on accident. I did. I moved my mouse at the last moment. So I want it to open that way. And that's set there. And it opens outside. Nice, man. Nice. We'll do the same thing with this one. Because otherwise, I will have problems. There we go. So out here, I'm going to want one, two, three... Well, let's wait on the foundations because... We'll be changing those to stone here in a second. Let's make some of the roof parts. We're going to need... How are we going to do this? I want to do like I normally do, right? Where it comes down. This is going to be a little bit of an overhang. Little tiny overhang. And then this side is going to go up high. And then a huge overhang over here. I think. Let's see how our trees are lined up. So roughly one, two, three. Okay. Let's see about the spacing on this side. Yeah, let's do it on that side. There's more room over there than over here. So we're going to need some triangles. What is it called? Sloped wall. Okay. We're gonna need... One, two, three, four, maybe... Let's do six. We'll start with that. Now we're gonna need some more of the walls too going up. We are gonna have a balcony inside. We are gonna put our small little balcony in there. We're gonna have our bed up top. Just like we normally do. And that'll kind of help out with the extra room we have from having the high ceiling. Now, give us more room on the ground as well. So that makes super fast, dude. I like that. Let's make regular walls. We'll do one, two, three. Let's just do four. I don't want to overmake. And I'm hoping we'll have our level up here in a second. We can actually do our foundations. Now, I don't know if I want to do thatch or wood for the roof. I went ahead and unlocked the wooden ones. So let's see what they look like. Let's do, let's do two. One. One's fine. Let's leave this in there for the moment. Alright, let's get this sorted out. So we're gonna do... Two here. One there. Hold on, let me get this. It's different because we have the taller walls. <laughs> so it's a little bit different. I don't want to go so high. I'm thinking... I need to remove these. I can't reach up there. I need scaffolding. Right, let's pick up you. I got that one. If we start our roof, I can jump on top and do it that way. I'm gonna want... Let's 
That there? That's gonna be too low. Maybe that is kind of set how I need it. Let's pick up this. All new building, man. The main thing I miss from S plus right now is the gun to pick stuff up. Let's do the one wall here. It's raining. We gotta get a roof on, dude. I don't want our floors to rot. Not really, but you know what I mean. And this one... Right there. I like it. That'll work. That should be fine. And that'll provide the overhang right here. Let's do our unlock for... Let's do health, man. Get that up a little bit. Stone. We're gonna do foundation. That's the main thing. We got six, 66 points, so that's not too bad. We got ceilings, ramps, all the normal stuff there. Alright, can we make one? I have stone back at base. How much is a foundation? We're looking at 80 stone. Right, well, that's fine. We'll head over here. We'll grab that. And try to see how the floors look. Kind of excited about that. I mean, the wood looks fantastic. The thatch looks better than it did. I'm still not a fan of thatch, man. It just it looks super weird, dude. It's going to be a game changer over on Scorched Earth whenever it releases. Something else with that is I'm kind of excited to see how the Adobe looked. I liked it, but I hated it at the same time. I wish that the paint would have been a little bit easier to apply than what it was. Let's give you this stuff, and then... I think we just need thatch. Four. We're gonna need a lot of stone. I might need some more metal for repairing our tools as well. I have to say that kind of works out. We got 400 on the cement paste. That is fantastic, dude. Let's go ahead and grab the rest of the wood. Might as well. Head over here while we're crafting. The uh, sun's setting here pretty quick, too. I have one of the wall torches I got out of the drop that's right over here by base. I do want to see how that lights up at night. I'd like to use some of the torches, the wall ones. That is super tall, dude. We might... Might get rid of that top one and start our slope coming down right there. I think that'll work out, possibly. Because on this side, I wanted to go out two foundations, and this side to only be one. That way it's not symmetrical, right? It's kind of offset a little bit. Just to change it up, man. Make things a little bit different. We will start out here. That looks so much better. Holy crap, that looks so much better, dude! It also has a little bit of a shine. I don't know if that's from the rain. If so, that's awesome. Does it still replace the one if you put it on top? It does. Let's do this. We've already got those made. Let's do this here. And we're doing one more there. And I'm hoping one more will fit right there that we can drop it back down as well there. I got a ton of farming to do. Ton of farming! At the same height? Looks like it. Nice, man. Nice! Alright! Give me a few minutes. I need to figure out about this. Let's... Uh, let's try this. Hold on. Before we go and I grab my other stuff, let's do this. Do some testing. Let's put you... Cooperate. Cooperate. Easy. 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 I want you... You can put those upside down. Don't know why you would, but that's always a good thing. Look, man, options, dude. Options are the best things you can have in a game. Let people do with whatever they want. Can I jump? Can I jump? There we go. There we go. All right, so I want to pick up you. Oh, did I grab it? Almost. I got out of the way too quick. I need wingman, dude. I need wingman back. I might have to build some scaffolding with some thatch. Uh, let's do that. It's going to be easier, man. So, wait a minute. You can do it like that, too. You don't have to have the, the side pieces. Interesting. That is awesome, dude. Oh, dude, I know I keep saying that about the building, but if you haven't played Ark before, you don't know how big these changes are for the building stuff, man. It's, uh, dude, game changer, man. Game changer. So let's pick that up. We've got our scaffolding for the moment. We're going to put our one back there. Let's grab them. I know it's nighttime. Kind of hard to see. We'll put you there. 
This one here. It's not going to be exactly like I wanted. I wanted to come out over here further. There is that theory. What level is it? 20. It'll still kill us. Hmm. I mean, that'll still work. We could have one little small outside area over here. I just want to put, like, our forge and stuff out here. That'll work, man. I think it'll be alright. We'll put our other slope right here. Look, look. There we go. Like that. It'll be offset a little bit, but it'll be fine, man. It'll be fine. We'll, we, we can deal with that for sure. And that's still high enough inside for a... Small little balcony, possibly? Just on the corner. Thinking about doing a ceiling here and here. We'll have a ladder on the side over here. We can climb up and we'll put a roof out over there. A flat piece. That'll kind of connect it and we'll have our bed up there. Maybe two beds, seeing how we die a lot and it's only a... Five minute respawn. Let's grab really quick. I want to see how the wall torch looks. That way, if it looks good, I can go ahead and make some more of those up. We have the cooking pot, too. Let's see if there's anything new in the cooking pot. I'm hoping that we have... ...some other recipes in there for making... ...making items instead of having to find the notes and stuff. So let's put this... ...right there. Don't smack it! We need some fuel, don't we? We do. Warms the area, too. Did the other ones do that? I think they did, right? I know the ground torches did for, like, hatching eggs, but I didn't remember if the wall ones did. Just give you that many for the moment. It doesn't flicker. It doesn't flicker! That is awesome. That looks good, too, with the amount of light it puts out. It changes so dramatically. Sometimes the light. I need to smooth that out a little bit. Oh, it's got the... Northern Lights. Interesting. Nice texture. That looks good, though. We'll definitely do those for our torches. And let's see what this has extra, just for the moment. We got the dyes and stuff! Dude, all the recipes are right here. Wait, is there more dyes? There's more colors! That's my color, right there. That's it. Everything we're gonna have... Blue, right there. <laughs> Midnight. So we got a lot of dyes. What does it all require? Mainly just a berry. So for this and that, same requirements. It's just a different flavor that you want. That's cool, man. That's cool. Makes it easier for gathering and getting stuff together. What else do we have? So we've got, yep, tells you what you need. Dude, that is awesome, man. Don't have to worry about remembering stuff or having the recipes anymore. So that's all going to be the same. That's not. Is that the same requirements? I thought, thought that there was vegetables added in as well. I know we need those for the Lazarus Chowder. I thought you also had vegetables for this too. I guess not, right? Hmm. That's the same, I think. All of your stuff. Oh, dude, that is a game changer. And there's for the... We got a lot of the Hesperonis out here. Wonder how much that actually makes for the oil. Definitely need to do... I like folder view, but I hate it at the same time. It's kind of nice, though. It's kind of nice. Ah, dude. Well, fantastic day today, man. We went out, tried to get one team, came back with a team, plus a little one to raise up. I kind of like that. I definitely want to look at getting the creatures when they're in their baby stage and raising them up instead of just taming. If we can, kind of see how that works out. We started on our base. I need to get a lot more stuff harvested up for the next video. We'll try to get this one, like, totally built in the next video. I want to get some more wood for the stone foundations. Or not wood, but some more stone and stuff for the uh, foundations. I want to get some more stuff so we can finish the loft in here. And then we'll figure out how we want to do the dock out front. It's going to be good though, man. It's going to be good. I definitely like the new textures on everything. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you like the start of our new base here on the island. As always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.